Hello, hello. Real quick. A short video on how to import any command into the Streamlabs chatbot. The Streamlabs chatbot has a command file They're called appcomg file. I think that stands for um, angbot commands group, possibly. And um, you can implement your commands by using the import button on the Streamlabs chatbot and then navigate to wherever the file is and then implement it. And then it says it has been imported successfully. I've named it test multi commands for now. So here we go. These are the test multi counter 2 and the test multi counter. But these are both now implemented and they all have the test commands and everything. So how you can implement this is you can you, you just go into the multi counter so you just import it download the multi counter from the discord channel from um, the, the discord channel on stream of chatbot there's a share command one right here share commands and there you can download that and then you go down to um, the import button and you import the commands if you do this again it will overwrite all of the commands that have the same name so if you get the error make sure you cancel it and check which command is um, being overwritten then once you have done that you can't really use the command yet you'll have to go to the question mark up here open install directory go to services twitch files and make a new folder called multi counter make that folder once you've made that folder you go into the console and use the command make what would be test make counter files and then it will say successfully made the files once you've done that everything will be running and then you can use set or new counter deaths there you go thing is right now um, the problem is I already have a um, counter running at the moment so if I were to go to my files and to my multi counter you can see there's already some being counted over here and now this one is probably not reset most likely it is indeed it is indeed reset it's back to zero again and here it's also back to zero and if i were to want to fix that right now i'd have to go to game list file which would be this one so that is now kind of like deleted sort of so um, the thing is what I should probably do is delete this and then go in here and uh, no not remove all so let's do let's redo this all see, see can I can I do a quick remove oh my god you gotta be kidding me fine So this is kind of like troubleshooting too. Alright. So now we download the file. Download. And it's over here. Place the file. Now we import this one. Overwrite them all. Thank you. And now these should be updated here. The multi counter and the multi counter file. But right now we don't have the folder, so we need to make the folder called multi counter. There we go. Then we do make counter files. And if you then go into the folder multi counter, there's the starter files the counter overlay, counter overlay numbers, your game counters, game list file, all of that. 
So if you were to change your game to, let's see, Dark Souls 2. Now it's back on Dark Souls 2, so um, then we can do new counter death. And then death with space S for plural. And then you've made a new count for Dark Souls 2, the count is dictated as dedicated number 1 and counts deaths. But now you can do counters. Explain the last 10 counters would be Dark Souls. And you can also do new counter. Uh, let's see. Glitches. Let's make a new counter for glitches and let's make a new counter for weapons. There we go. So now we can also go and do the second counters with new counter two for shields. Oh, I did I did an oopsie there. Drop my space. There we go. For shields. There you go. Now we got um, has dedicate number five and count shields. So now you can, once you go and do counters, it'll probably give an error for the fourth one. Oh, it doesn't even display it. That's perfect. And you can then show. I think it's counts two. So that's on the shields and counts is on the weapons what you can do set counter for one so now set counter one is on uh, or the first counter is on one and if you do set counter two on two which would be set to glitch then so now you have two um, counters counting at the same time if I were to go into S control show you guys real quick hold on here we go you can see that it's both counting deaths and glitches on the top right top left and if i were to do a count 20 20 deaths would be added if i were to do count 2 40 40 glitches would be added Oh no, hold on. Count, uh, it counts. My bad. Count two. Go. Switch back. So you can see I've done the count two for 40 glitches and count 20 for 20 deaths. And now if you were to switch your game to, let's see, Destiny 2. And set a new counter for deaths again. It would get number six, and it would be for counted destiny. If I were to display my counts again, it would say destiny two for deaths and Dark Souls two for deaths. So you could implement multiple games, but also multiple counters. That's why I made the counter. That's about it. Thanks for watching.